what is going on everybody my name is Joe MHD and welcome back to another video and today's video guys I'm going to be showing you the completion to the Ghost and Scores 2 machine on Rave in the Redwoods now before you start any steps the first thing you need to do is make sure the power is on that way the Ghost and Score machine is alight from there then guys you want to start the first step and you need to pay attention to the numbers 1992 in that order and you'll notice doing four different colours now you want to start with the first one number one and it is green so you want to come to the log trap and make sure you got yourself one zombie at the end of the round and you want to kill it with the log trap you can indicate that the log trap is green boy if you go into rave mode and go to the switch it will light up green now you can move on to the next round and you want to make sure that you got yourself nine zombies at the end of that round you want to come to the wood chipper and you notice the wood chipper is yellow and that indicates the nine on that and you just want to kill nine zombies now from there you want to go to the following round after that and you want to get yourself nine zombies as well and you want to activate the rave and just to let you know guys a little tip you can't have one of the guys with the axes because he won't dance and that won't work so it has to be full on 9 zombies as you can see here you can count them all there's 9 right there and you can indicate this is orange by two things one the flowers are orange and the second thing I've noticed is when the zombies actually explode it blows out like an orange blood powder if you can see here right about now you see all it's like an orangey colour and that's how you know this area is orange and then you can move on to the final trap which is the waterfall and you want to get yourself 2 kills with the waterfall uh, as you can see here now the indication why I know the waterfall is red one person said that it was to do with a few people have said it's to do with the actual handle of the waterfall when you activate the trap but I also think it's because they've put a zombie spawn beyond the waterfall and if the zombie comes up it will actually glow up red so the actual waterfall will glow up red and that's how you know that is red that's what I believe anyway and once you've done all that wait 30 seconds and you'll hear this sound <coughs> And that's when you know you've done the first step and you can pretty much go back to the machine and there you are, there's the first step. Now we're moving on to step two. Now with step two guys, you need to find two symbols, two green symbols, both lighting up with the same symbol on it. You need to go into rave mode, make sure that you've gone on to the next round first. And you want to aim your gun at the first symbol, it's going to be located on the Ghost of Scores machine, the first symbol. Now the second symbol can be located in one of nine locations. Now the first location is at the Camp Owl, inside the zombie spawn at the back. The second location is at the archway on the tree area. The third location is in the upper window at Turtle Island. The fourth location is inside the zombie spawn near the power switch downstairs. The fifth location is at the sewage area opposite the frog charm. The sixth location is at the surf shop uh, near the beach inside here next to the uh, life fest. The seventh location is in the boathouse on that wood. The eighth location is on that tree at the catwalk at the rave area. And then the final ninth location is going to be at the mess hall right against the urinal area, PP area. <coughs> now you'll hear that sound and that's when you know you've done it correctly. And then you can just go back to the Ghost of Scores machine and you'll notice you'll have two scores on the machine. From there guys, we are now going to be moving over on to step 3. Now step 3 is really, really easy. It's just so easy. So you can see there's two. Now step 3, what you need to do is you need to go downstairs from the Ghost of Scores machine. Make sure that you're in the round. And you want to go to the game downstairs where you can throw the knives at the zombie. So all you're going to do is you're going to activate that. And you're going to notice there's a skull glowing up green. And you just want to throw the knife at it. <coughs> And you're going to hear that sound and that's when you've done step three so step three is really really easy now we're going to be moving on to step four in just a second guys so i'm just going to be showing you here the ghost of score machine that we've got three scores on it as you can see now step four guys is similar to step two you need to find five of these symbols and they're going to spell out the word skull so they're going to be located in any one of the nine locations that I showed you in step two. So you just need to go to those locations, make sure that you're in rave mode and you can't come out of rave mode until, because if you come out of rave mode and you've done two or three of these and you come out of rave mode, you have to start the whole thing again from the next round. So just make sure that you keep picking up the fairies as you're going around and you will be fine. So I'm gonna show you the symbols on the bottom screen right now at the order that you guys need to hit them. So it's the same as step two, like I said, you just need to aim at the symbol not let a zombie or the chainsaw man slasher hit you because if you aim at this and he knocks you or a zombie knocks you 
that you'd have to start it again. I know it's really, really awkward. But I'm just going to wind this up a little bit. As you can see, I'm just keep collecting up the fairies. I've been in rave mode the whole time. So make sure that you're in rave mode the whole time. And the last two symbols, uh, the owls, and they're going to be the same symbol. And the one I got there was at the archery. And the last one, I noticed it on that tree. So I had to move back a bit, get another fair word. So the slasher don't touch mode. And then you just aim at that and you'll hear this sound. <coughs> And you'll know that you've done that correctly guys and you can go back to the ghost of scores machine and you can notice there will be full scores on that machine now we're going to be moving on to the fifth step now the fifth step i would recommend you guys get yourself an automatic gun and also getting yourself quickies so you can reload faster so what you need to do is you need to go over and you need to go onto the boat and you need to drive it over to turtle islands now on the way there what you're going to see is going to see some green scores pop up and what you need to do is shoot them um, as quick as you can because if they go up too far they'll turn red and then they'll disappear and if they disappear you'd have to start this whole process again by driving the boat so once you have completed this step and you've shot every single one as you can see right here I do now you'll hear this sound <coughs> And that's when you know you've done it correctly. But like I said, if you do fail this step, you can just go, go on the zip line back and then wait for the boat and then come back and retry it. You don't have to end the round, so that's really, really cool. Now, guys, we're going to be moving on to the sixth and final step. And for this, what you're going to need to do is you need to get yourself an upgraded bub. It can be any bub as long as it's upgraded. I use the Ben Franklin. It works like a charm. It's great. And all you want to do is shoot the machine and you'll hear this sound. <coughs> And that's when you've done the final step correctly. And now you can actually just go onto the game and just play it. And it's really, really cool. There's three levels. Uh, I'm going to tell you how to master this. First thing is it's easy. It will show you all of the colours on screen. Because you're going to have to basically get the coloured zombie for the coloured skull. And you need to hit it at the right colour in order for you to knock those skulls out. If you... Unfortunately, hit a yellow with a green or a yellow with a blue and you get the wrong colours. What's going to happen, guys, is a red skull will appear and it will slowly go towards the exit. And you just want to make sure you pick up a red zombie to take out that red skull before it exit. Or else you'll end up with um, a skull escaped. And then if you get three of them, the game will be over. So moving on to stage two, guys. Uh, it's the same as stage one, different colours that you have to throw the colour zombie to match the colour skull. The only difference is after a while the skulls will turn over and then you'd have to wait for them to turn back again. I would recommend you guys taking a screenshot, that way then you know what colour skull it is for what you are hitting and you know what you're hitting. Now stage three is even trickier. Now stage three what you need to do is you need to make sure you take a screenshot. I would definitely recommend you take a screenshot of where the order is of all the colours. So that way then when they turn over it's not going to be turning back over once it turns over. That is it. You're not going to get the second chance like stage two where they come back. But with this one you just need to just hopefully you know the order and just keep dodging those lasers. Once you have completed all of these scores and you've knocked them all out it will have a message come up saying you won you'll go back into rave in the redwoods game and you'll have every single perk and it's really really pretty awesome i can't believe it really really cool and they can see here is all the perks coming on screen right now you have every single one of them absolutely great so i hope you guys have enjoyed this fan this will be in the description the person that originally found this all and i'll catch you guys on the next video it's been channel mates and i'm out bye bye Oh, 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 oh,